Hey everybody, this is Nikki's The One, and today I'm going to be doing a review on this Wonder Brow today. Um, everybody's been rant ranting and raving about this Wonder Brow, so I had to check it out. Um, right now is, it's been uh, a whole day, a full day, since I've had the Wonder Brow on, and I'm going to show you a picture of what it's going to be in the morning. Um, but I have used this, uh, since, uh, I'm just going to start off by saying how much it costs. It's about $20, a little over with shipping and handling. It came in a little over a week, uh, through the normal postal service and, um, packaging was okay. Um, I was afraid because I don't know why, but I thought that the dark brown wouldn't come up good enough so I got black and because the way they have it leading on the on the website is that if you have darker tone skin then uh dark brown won't show up on you that's how it's leading on the um website you know if you don't know what I um if you're kind of puzzled about it I'm going to leave the link down below to how it's looking, but they have like examples of different skin tones. And um, for my complexion, it's black is recommended. So um, because they were insinuating that it won't show up. So I got the black and I was afraid of using the black at first because I felt like it would be too bold. Um, but it's all about the blending. Um... Like I said, this has been all day that I've had this on. And it's like, I'm going to show you how it looks. It come, This is a little applicator. Um, and then it's very, it's like a, almost like a liquid uh, liner, but just a little bit thicker. And that's how bold it is. It's like a liquid uh eyeliner that's basically what it's like and when it dries it dries but with my experience thus far and i'm going to show you guys i don't know if it's um because my skin is oily or because i don't really have bushy eyebrows like that to start with but when i get up in the morning the my eyebrows is gone honey and how people was random raving about it. It's like, oh, I can get in the shower. I can wipe it. I can do this. I can do that. It's going to be on for a few days. With me, it's not. It does, The next day, it will be gone. So I feel like, for me, it's a fail. Um, I feel like I like the application with my L'Oreal Cream Pomade better. Um, because... I can work with that better. It's a dark brown color. It's dark enough for me and not too bold. And I don't have to work with it. It, it I just love it, okay? Um, with this, yeah, it dries and it stays on the entire day. So this is my uh, cream L'Oreal pomade. So it's like it really doesn't serve a purpose of saving me time because Eyebrows take the longest for me in the morning. That's my longest thing in the morning. Um, I'm getting quicker with it, but I'm just more comfortable with my cream pomade. And it doesn't really serve me a purpose because if I get up in the morning and it's gone, just like any other, like my cream pomade, I don't leave that on. So I can't tell you if my cream pomade will stay on in the morning or not. But what I'm saying is if I get up, I have the Wonder Brow on where everybody been ranting about and it's gone in the morning what purpose is this for so it, it doesn't it defeats the purpose of being a wonder brow because it does not stay on my brows i don't know what it is i don't know if it's on, if i'm oily or i don't know i just don't know um but it doesn't work for me so for the wonder brow it's been a fail i know that people have been on some a different I don't even know the name of it, but it's permanent and I've been afraid. Like, I've had an issue with growing my eyebrows out. Like, I just got them where I wanted them to be. I had grew them for six months 
because that's generally how it has to be. I cannot pluck. I cannot raise a, the arch. I have to leave it alone for six months and it's where I want it to be so that when they do um, thread my eyebrows, it's, it's good. So I went to Walmart. Yeah, Walmart. And got my eyebrows threaded. I was afraid. They were lopsided. It was too thin. And since then, they have not been acting right. So now I have to wait another six months until they grow back right. You know? It's just, I'm so upset because six months is a long time for me to get my eyebrows how I wanted to get it. For y'all, for that, those of y'all who grow y'all your eyebrows back two, in two weeks, y'all bless. Y'all bless, but not me, okay? So now I have to wait a few months to get my stuff where I want it to be so I can get that perfect art. <sighs> the life of a beauty girl. That, that, that's just what it is. The Wonder Brow was an epic fail. My L'Oreal Pomme is a yes for me, and I will continue to use it because that is what I love, and this was a fail for me. So... I don't know what y'all experience was. Let me know what your experience was with it. If it stays on for you. And this is just how it looks when it, it's semi-dry. It's eight, like 80% dry. But let me know if y'all have gotten the Wonder Brow. How y'all feel about it. If it stays on for you. But as far as for me, a oily girl who has a few brows, <laughs> it doesn't stay on for me. <laughs> Not even in the areas where there is brows. So... Thanks for watching this video. Thumbs up if you like videos like this. But I just had to give y'all my honest opinion on the Wonder Brow. And stay tuned for whatever I got next. <laughs> Bye, y'all.